What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Airport CEO. This is episode number two and we're going to work on the inside of the terminal today, hopefully a little bit. We've got a nice full flight schedule for today. Uh, flights all the time, so we should be making plenty of money here. Uh, you'll see they're, they're each providing us with quite a bit. Uh, on Friday we've got another full schedule and on Saturday it looks like we have some planes we could probably schedule here uh, starting at 5.05. .05. So let's give you a, a plane, then we'll do another one uh, directly at 5.15. There we go. Uh, so we got... Well, we don't really have a full schedule for Saturday, but that's a couple days out. We have plenty of days before that. Uh, we've already got passengers arriving for our 505 flight for today, uh, which is going to be, uh, I think so, yeah, 505 flight. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be giving us $2,400. Uh, so today well, I want to work a little bit on the inside of the terminal to make it look nicer and to also give us more profits. So I'm going to be, I'm, we're going to be creating bathrooms to allow people to relieve their bladder. You can see this guy's got a pretty bad bladder, and we're going to be creating uh, hunger slash fun shopping and, and, and hunger areas um, today, hopefully. Uh, but first we need to take a look at procurement to see if we can, uh, to see how much that's going to be. Eventually what we're going to want to do as well is we're going to want to uh, procure the other type of, of uh, fuel. The, not this one, but the, the jet fuel. Uh, we're going to need to hire someone actually first um, for this to work. We're going to need to hire the procurement director which might cost us a little bit of money, but we're going to hire the cheapest one we can because we don't really care how they do. We just really care what they do. So we're going to get the procurement director. Where is the procurement director? There you are. You're going to cost us $24 an hour for the cheapest version of you. So I'm going to grab you. Uh, and then we're going to go to our economy and procurement to check out what we have now. A lot of stuff. Food franchises, which cost us $50,000. Uh, shop upgrades, which cost us $50,000. Uh, jet fuel is going to cost us... A hundred thousand, so maybe we're gonna wait on that. Night flights cost five hundred and fifty or one hundred and fifty thousand, rather. I don't know where I got five hundred and fifty, but yeah, you can see some of this stuff is pretty expensive. Baggage handling is two fifty thousand, so we're not gonna worry about baggage handling quite yet because it's gonna take literally all of our money, not literally, but most of our money. Um, we're gonna need the strategy director for these two, so let's get him. Staff applicants, same thing. Uh, executives, strategy director. Hopefully, you're not too expensive, and you are very expensive. Oh, well, we're going to need you. You're going to give us a lot of money by allowing us to make shops and such. Uh, so procurement again, and we're going to procure both of these. We're going to start with the shops, then we're going to get food as well. It's going to take us a full 12 hours, but that's fine. We've got planes coming in all day, so that's good. Looks like this person just doesn't want to sit next to anybody. <laughs> oh, you guys are going. Nice. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Every time they get... What are you guys waiting for, actually? Passport number. What plane are you waiting for? How do I, how can I tell what plane, is that the plane, MP, MP96, what are you here for, where's MP96, was that a Friday flight, it said MP96, right, MP90, I, I don't even see that flight, why are you here, <laughs> guy, are you just hanging out, you have like a fake passport, or a fake boarding pass, you're just like hanging out in the airport, because like, maybe, could you imagine it's probably like a homeless person or something, and then they're like, Hey, here's an airport. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if anyone's ever done that. That's not a bad idea. Uh, okay, let's start with our bathroom. We're going to make our bathroom over here. It's not going to be too big. Uh, we're going to do this. It's going to be our bathroom. Just like that. Very small. We're going to have the same thing here. So we're going to have a girl's and a guy's bathroom. It's going to be um, like that. It's not going to be one of the ones where, where they can both go in the same bathroom. Um... Although that would save money, but I don't know. Uh, must be placed inside a bathroom. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make this a bathroom. That's okay. Uh, room is room position is not legal. What? Bathroom number one and bathroom number two. There we go. Toilets. This is going to be the men's bathroom. So we're going to have toilet, toilet, urinal, urinal. Urinal, urinal, urinal. Three urinals, I'm thinking. Uh, and then we're going to have a sink. And if any of you guys have ever been in a men's bathroom, which I'm sure you have if you're a man... Uh, it's kind of a requirement to live, to go into a bathroom. Um, then I'm sure you've seen, uh, these things. And they usually have, like, 20 urinals, uh, on each side. It's crazy. Like, international airports are huge. Uh, and then the female's bathroom, we don't need the urinals, so we can have many, many more toilets. We're gonna do something like four, three toilets. Oh, I should have made the woman's bathroom bigger, shouldn't I? And we're gonna give them two sinks as well. Dang, if I had made it just a little bit bigger, I could fit so many more toilets. Oh, the the, uh, the design compromises. <laughs> the women probably hate me. 
the ones who have to use this toilet, they're like, you could have made it so much bigger. Why? But, but alas, it's going to be a small toilet. What is that? It's a box there. That's weird. That actually costs us a lot of money. Oh, no, that must have been because we bought the, the, the procurements. Okay, I, I understand. Is that getting annoying yet? All these planes coming in and going... I don't know, it, it, it's good sound because it means money. Money, money, money. Uh, okay, we're going to get our flight at uh, 8.30. Then we're going to get another one from Maple as well at uh, 8.45. Then we're going to get these two right here at 12... Uh, we'll go 11.50, how about that? Just so we can save a little bit of time. 11.50 and then we're going to get another one at 12.10, I guess is fine. Let's go to the other one and grab all the... There's so many flights, jeez. Uh, we're going to set this one back over here. Then we're going to have this one right here, like there. And we're going to have this one right here, like there. Then let's go to Friday, uh, I mean Sunday. So a couple flights, we'll have our, our classic 505 and then we'll have a classic 520. I've got to keep setting these flights up, otherwise they're going to pile up and I don't want that to happen. Although I guess it's not a bad thing to have, to have more flights than you can deal with. Oh, it's too damaged. Oh no, ah, uh, repair. <laughs> I'm sorry planes. <laughs> I hope I didn't cause any delays. Wow, I, I probably missed that for a second. Okay, whatever. Um, once we make enough profits, by the way, we can expand to this area right here, which will allow us... It costs a lot of money to do so, by the way. But it'll allow us to expand the runway so that we can get larger planes in here. Uh, and eventually we'll upgrade this stuff as well to the better edition of, of um, taxiway and such. Uh, but we've got our bathroom. That's pretty good. Looks like there's a lot more women than there should. Oh, hey, I can set the gender. Okay. You're going to be a woman's bathroom. You're going to be a men's bathroom. That's cool. I didn't know you could do it. Wait. That's that's the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> I forgot that the women are the upside down holy hand grenade. And the men are the, uh, what is that? Like the bow and arrow? That's circular? I don't know. Oh, bathroom's open and open. Why were you guys in here if it was closed? What are you guys doing? Okay, now that we should have shops by this point. Let's check. Yeah, we have our shop upgrade and our food franchise upgrade. So we're going to do, I think right here we're going to do food. Like it's going to be kind of like in this area facing each way. And then right here we're going to do shops. So the shops that we're going to want, and unfortunately we can't we can't actually see them before we do it. Uh, but we're going to hope hopefully get that diamond shop because that was a nice shop. Uh, but let's do this big. We'll do like this. Well, we'll do, we'll do small shops. How about that? So we can fit another one right here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. We'll do... We're going to cut this in two. So we can have, have two shops here. We'll have a smaller shop and then a bit of a larger shop on the other side. So... Or we can do one large... Let's do one large shop. Just so we can make more money, money, money. Uh, so let's do a large door over here. Allowing you to get into the shop. Well, we could do it right here. be in the center. That would be that bad. Uh, let's go to our shops. Our commerce. We're going to want to make this a shop room. There we go. We're going to give you guys a shop counter. Right here, maybe. Well, where does that have to be? Oh, gosh. This is actually kind of a very small shop, isn't it? I think it's got to be, like, right there. Can I fit it there in the corner? I guess that'll be fine. And then we're going to give you guys a couple of shelves as well. Uh, which are going to be... Somewhere. Shelves. Haha. -ha. Uh, we'll go with small shelves, I guess. Because we can't really fit large ones. Well, I mean... Yeah, let's go with small shelves. We'll do... Let's see. One, two... Oh, we can't really fit that one there. Uh, let's do something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, can we fit any more shelves? I don't think we can. <laughs> we can fit another one right there, but let's see if we have to. Uh, sign contract. I don't think we can get the amazing ones. Well, let's see. Yeah, XXX. Or XX check. Uh, yeah, the size is the problem, it seems like. We want to find somewhere the size is not the problem. We can get the quick stop. That wouldn't be that bad. Can we get a better one, though? You're going to pay us 10% uh, cut, 
Slash M2? I don't know what that means. And sales for bonus. Okay. Oh, rent per hour is 90. Okay. That's what I really wanted to, to see. So the rent per hour is 90, and you'll give me a 10% cut. Whereas you, rent per hour is 80, and you'll give me a 9% cut. The other one's better. Let's go with this one right here. I'm sad we couldn't fulfill the requirements for some of these, but that, that's going to be fine. We're going to go side, sign the contract with them. And they should pop in any second and open this shop up for the public, which is going to give us money. Hurrah! Uh, should we build our first food stores? I, I'm guessing people are probably getting hungry by now. Um, unfortunately, we can't see. Ooh, nice. What are you selling? Chocolate bars? Is that chocolate bars? I feel like that's chocolate bars. I don't actually know. But uh, but that's good. We now have a shop here. Um, this guy, I guess, is just going to sit here forever. Should we hire a janitor? Oh, you know what? These are probably our executives. No, that's a passenger. These guys probably are executives. They should really be hanging out in here, I guess, but I don't know. I guess it's fine. Why do we have no flights right now? Oh, it's nighttime. That makes sense. Okay, so food. Well, let's hire a janitor first before we, so we can get things clean. Staff, applicants. We'll hire two janitors. Uh, janitorial people. Let's see. You're five dollars and eight. You're pretty good. I like you. You're five and five, five and five, twenty. Oh god, that's the procurement director. We're gonna hire you as well. Hire two janitors. Let them go around and clean. Hopefully, keep things nice and tidy. Uh, and then let's get our shops in order. So, how much space do we have here? One, two. Let's see. Okay, so we have seventeen blocks here, which means if we go to the ninth block. No, to the 8th block, right there. Then this one will be the center point. Oh, but you know what? Hang on. I want to build at least this far away on this side. And then the same thing. So 3 blocks. 1, 2, 3. So we have 11 then, which means if we go to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the center. Okay. And we're allowed to go up to, let's say, here with this so we can give them a nice little open uh, area so one two three this is our space that we're allowing and we're gonna do the same on this side one two three there we go we could probably fit i'm thinking probably you know we might want to have just two shops here two food shops so one two right there uh, and that'll be like the food areas that you can go and get i don't really know how big the food areas need to be but yeah food room That'll be one food room, and we'll get the second food room right here. Or let's have two smaller food. How about that? Yeah, I like it. Let's have two smaller food rooms. How big are you? Uh, 16. So we'll have... We'll go to 8, I guess. And we'll do like that. So two, two smaller ones will be pretty nice. This one's slightly bigger, but yeah. Food rooms. Boom. And food rooms. Boom. Nice. Okay, let's see what contracts I can get with you. Anything good for the size? That's a problem, if nothing's good for the size. Yeah, nothing's good for the size, so let's let's make this a little bigger. And as for the uh, the food room, we're gonna we're gonna recreate that real quick. Be about like that. Delete the rooms, yes. Make it a little bigger. Awesome. How how good are you on the size? Okay, so the size is good for the cheapest one, the Hilltop Cafe. Is it good for a second one? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I could make it. You know what? Screw that. Let's make it one big. So we can get the nice cafe in here. Uh, just delete the room and we'll recreate it. I know there's a lot of second guessing myself here, but you know, I've never made a cafe before. I didn't know how big they are. Usually in airports, you see like very small shops, right? But, uh, but in this one, I guess they want to have like an actual cafe, which is fine, I guess. So let's make that right there. Let's see what we can have with you. Uh... Really? The size isn't good for a lot of you guys? I mean, it's good for some two stars, sure, but... But, uh, how big is our thing, then? How big is our room? Uh, the room size is 144 by whatever. And they need it 144... Oh, so they just need it a slight bit bigger on the side, and they would allow us to have a... Well, hang on. Yeah, they just need it bigger. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll use these two star ones. So what do you guys need? Um, you need cafe fridges times four and cafe counter. 
Well, I can do that. I can certainly do that. That's easy. Okay, let's do that. So we'll have the uh, display fridge. Is that what that meant? A cafe fridge? Well, we'll have the cafe counter, first of all, which is going to be right, uh, right here. Times one. And then we're going to have a couple of, ca of display fridges. I feel like you only want four fridges. I feel like this could be much smaller than it actually is. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, I guess we'll just put these like this. Two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess maybe we need tables. That's probably it. You probably need tables as well. Well, then in that case, let's let's undo this. I'd like to have the cafe over here and the tables in the front because I think that's just a better uh, a better look. So the cafe counter will be right here. And then we'll have the display tables over in this area. One, two... Well, hang on. I mean, I do still want that, but I want to I want to swap it around a little bit. So we'll do... Yeah, we'll do it kind of like this. One, two... Well, hang on. Once again. One... Two, three, four. Like that. Perfect. So people can come down over here. They can grab their stuff. They can go to the counter. They can purchase their stuff. And then they'll be able to go to the seating, which we'll have uh, in here. Tables. Get some nice tables. Oh, these are small. Dang. One right there. One right there. Maybe one right here. And one right here as well. Uh, some chairs. Three, four, one, two. I hope people can actually get through, by the way. I don't want to block up the whole area. There we go. Awesome. We'll have our, uh, our, our door over here as well. Maybe some couches, too. One, two. And we can even have some more tables over there, can't we? That'd be nice. Actually, let's uh, let's delete these ones right here. We'll have them on the side right there as well, and then we'll have the door kind of in right here. Two, yeah, right there. That'd be nice. They can come in, they can go and grab some stuff, and uh, and go and eat. I like it. How come that's not being demolished? Oh, because they don't have the door. <laughs> All right. All right. Everything's looking nice and set up. Let's go and oops, nope. Nope, don't want to delete that. Let's go and get the contract. Uh, we're going to want to do uh, this one right here, I think. You're 645 per hour, which is really nice. That's a really nice rent. Um, you're only 556. This one gives a bigger cut, so it's better as well. Let's go down a little bit, see what else we can get. Uh, we can't get these ones, unfortunately. The size wasn't good for a three star, so apparently you need like a huge size for the, the three star. Oh my god, these ones are huge. A huge size. Well, I mean, I guess we, we almost actually had these ones. This one right here, especially. I think if, if we had a square building, then that would have been nice. That would have worked. But no, we're definitely going to go with the Bell Beer, which is, I'm guessing, a like a bar. Uh, at least that. Okay, that's good. Oh, if you have that many sales, you give us a bonus. Ooh. Okay. Four fridge displays at their disposal. Yeah, you have pretty much everything. All right, nice. So we have that sign. They should come in any second and and build the uh, build the stuff. It's kind of annoying that these aren't exactly like right in front of each other, but it's you know it's gonna be fine, I think. Um, let's uh, let's get some some um, flooring going on in here because I think it's looking a little bit bland. I want to make it uh, look a little bit nicer. By the way, our flights are scheduled for pretty much the next full week. Oh, actually, not this day, not Sunday. But they're scheduled for these days. Well, let's let's get Sunday flights set up then, because I actually forgot to set these ones up. Flight too close to an adjacent one. Wait, hang on, really? Why is, why is Sunday being weird? Flights are... I guess there are flights scheduled for that. It's just not showing them. I don't know, because it's, it's telling me I can't place a flight there. Oh, okay, there we go. I can. So we'll put that one at 12... Let's go over here so we can put this one at 
No, yeah, I can't place this one flight right here. That's so weird. What if I place it over here? Yeah, well, it'll work for 505, I guess. Okay, well, we'll have to fill in those slots uh, a little bit later. You guys are here. That's awesome. But I think you guys need a little bit more flooring, so let's get that going. Uh, now, flooring is in somewhere. Actually, don't know where it is. Decorations? Where's flooring? It's in the terminal, right? Yeah, flooring. Okay, so we're going to do... I think we might have a blue... We can have a blue mat going... Well, hmm. How do we want to do this? What, what, how, how many marbles do we have? We have mat floor... Let's start by making the whole airport marble. It doesn't cost that much, so I'm not worried about cost. Marble, and then we'll, we'll build over the marble to make it look a little bit nicer. So it's going to be a normally marble, and then we're also going to have some of this nice blue right here. And that's going to be the walkway. So, well, we'll start it right here. Walkway coming out like this. Then we'll have this like that. That's the walkway. This will be kind of the main path. And then we'll have it go this way as well. There we go. That's pretty good. So people kind of come in and they, they have the path. Should it go all the way? Maybe it should. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, let's get some more plants in here of the same kind. So some, some of these uh, high quality plants here. One, two. Just so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, we might even stick another shop in this little area. Uh, as for this, I want to have some nice wood for the um, this area right here so it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. It'll be a nice wood area. So you come in here, you do your, you do your security stuff, you come back over here, and you're good. Awesome. Uh, this main area is going to be just normal like this. It's going to look like the marble. Um, same as... Oh, let's, let's, let's actually make the shops look a little bit nice as well. We're going to have a nice high quality wood right here, a nice dark wood for this shop right here. Then we're going to have a nice, maybe a blue mat. Well, this is a cafe. This should also be a wood, I think. So let's make it a nice lighter wood. We have a nice light wood for that. This is going to be a bathroom, so let's give it the classic bathroom floor tile for each of them. The male and the female. I've actually never been inside a female's restroom, so I don't know if it looks like a male's restroom. For all I know, they could have some flamboyant, like, floor, <laughs> flooring that looks, like, awesome or something. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, okay. Uh, this is looking pretty nice. This is only going to be a staff area, so let's get that wall that we promised. We're going to set up that wall right here, and we're going to make this a staff area. Now, uh, let's get our staff area stuff. It's going to be staff only. We're going to put another, we're going to put a door right here, actually. So the staff will be able to get in there, but not anyone else. Uh, we might put a wall up right there, actually, right here. Just so that no normal people will be able to get in. Oh, this requires two people? Oh, we should probably hire two more, then. I, I thought only one person was hired there. Um, well, in that case, we're going to need some, some airport staff. Let's hire you and you. Because we need someone to, hire, to to run this stuff over here. I didn't even consider that. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be that. They, they can come through here, staff area. Let's give them a new flooring for their staff area as well. Uh, like maybe this blue mat. Well, maybe this nice carpet. Or maybe this nice uh, whatever. I want them to enjoy their time in the staff area. Or in, in, this, in this thing. I don't want it to look horrible. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you come into the airport, you've got your nice uh, your nice way to go through. You come through security, you come through over here, you go to your, your shop, you go to your cafe, you go to your plane, and you're good. Awesome, I love it. Let's finally set up a staff room. That's probably the last thing we're going to do in this episode, because it's been a little bit of a long episode. Not We definitely didn't do nearly as much as we did in the other episode, but, um, but I guess, you know, that kind of makes sense. Uh, because the other episode we we're setting everything up, whereas this episode we we're more working on the inside of the terminal. Which is good. Whoa, what happened? Shop counter deactivated. Staff en route. Oh, okay, they just changed staff or something. I don't know. I, I didn't know what was happening there. I thought they. I thought they quit. <laughs> I'm like, you can't quit. You can't storm off property. That's not allowed. <laughs> uh, let's set up Sunday's flights, by the way, while we're here. 16 flights? Jesus Christ. 
Oh, I can't I can't set up these ones because I have flights already set on the other days. I have to set up one. That's why. Oh, that makes sense. Because I was trying to set up a multiple day flight when I already had flights set up the next few days. I can do it if I'm setting up future flights, but not if I've already set up the future flights and I'm going to set up a past flight. It just doesn't work backwards like that. We'll do 15, 15, 15, 30, and 18, 30. I'm not really caring where I'm putting them. By the way, you can see, though, that I can have five flights on each thing instead of four, which is good. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, Mr. Runway? Not great. Let's repair that. <laughs> I don't want to have it. Oh, no, it was already doing like that. It was already pretty bad. Okay, whatever. What are you... What, what's your problem? Oh, you're just a dude who not, doesn't know where to go. Well, that's why we made this. This is a staff room. So we're going... Inside the staff room, we're going to have a door right here, which is going to be staff only. Um, so these are going to be small doors. Stuff that you wouldn't usually see. They're just kind of like there. We'll have a door right there and a door right here, maybe. Uh, staff room. Staff zone. Uh... Is there a staff room? Oh, there is a staff room indicator. Okay. Staff room. And let's set up a couple of things for these guys. Maybe some... Uh, well, what are they... Where's their, where's their stuff? I know there's a staff room area, I think. Staff. Office desks. So we're going to have a couple of office desks here and there uh, for them to use if they want to. One right here, maybe. One right there. One right here. One right there right there yeah just a couple of office desks that if they're if they're just like in the mood to do some work they can do some right here not really sure why they would be in the mood to do work but i, I don't know <laughs> uh what else would they want they would want some nice seating so we'll give them some modern sofas give them something like this some plants as well i'm thinking who doesn't like plants? Plants like that. Uh, what else would they require? These these staff. I'm thinking like a TV, but I don't know. I don't know what else they would want. Well, that's pretty nice. That's looking pretty good. That's a pretty decent staff room. It's going to allow, hopefully, it's going to allow our, uh, our airport staff to hang out in places other than like right here and stuff because I've been seeing some of the ramp agents come over here and just like hang out over there but you see now they're all like over here which is nice uh, let's actually give them another area that they can sit I think so we'll do seating and we'll do um, more more modern couches just kind of a, like a very similar thing as we did before so that they have another place that they can go uh, should they want to um, yeah that's good Allowed staff type is every staff. I don't want. I don't want to make individual staff rooms for them. That's annoying. That, that'd be that'd be pretty bad. Um, let's give them a nice wooden flooring as well. We're gonna continue the same flooring that we used uh, back over here as well for the staff room because I think that looks pretty nice. All right, that's pretty good. I think we we've got a pretty good setup here. And I think next episode, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna probably gonna want to focus on trying to get bigger planes in here, which means getting a nicer runway. Uh, even even getting this area right here, we might just make a couple more um, a couple more gates as well, so we can start getting more planes at the same time. Even though we've been building and, and buying stuff this whole episode, we're 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 constantly making money, which is definitely uh, definitely a good thing for uh, for what we're for what we're looking at here. We're, making money is exactly what we want to do, and it's a good thing that we are doing it. Uh, but anyways, if you guys liked that episode, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Airport CEO.